This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we're talking about the Huawei P30 Pro. Everything we know, everything we assume and everything in between. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. <laughs> Hi guys, like I said, welcome back to a brand new video. Now here on the channel, we do loads of unboxings, but we also do breaking news and we foresee the future. And that's what we're gonna do with the Huawei P30 Pro. And because many people have been asking me my opinions on Huawei's next flagship, that's what we're gonna focus on today. Before we start, in my last video, I made a bit of a boo-boo. Really? <laughs> If this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll jump in that lake next time. I won't. I might. Ten we'll never get to 10,000. It's fine. 10,000 likes. Next OnePlus video, I'll jump in the lake. Can't say fairer than that. It's just absolutely stupid. It doesn't matter if we're never going to get there. What happens if it does? We're about four days in and it's got 8,400 likes. And it's basically December in the UK. It's a, it's freezing, to be honest. But I'm going to stay true to my word. And if that video does indeed get 10,000 likes, I will jump in that lake. But I really don't want to. <laughs> anyway, back to the Huawei P30 Pro. So, firstly, we're going to talk what we know. And a lot of that comes due to an interview with the European boss, Walter G or G, apologies if I pronounce your name wrong. Now we all know that the Huawei P20 Pro, the early 2018 flagship and the Mate 20 Pro that was released about a month or so ago, they both had a triple camera setup. Now we pretty much know that the P30 Pro is going to have four cameras on the back and probably two on the front, giving it a six camera setup. Madness, insane. And that's because Mr. Walter G said next year we will definitely see more innovation in the camera. And now we have three, imagine four for next year. Also, this could be huge, a 10 times optical zoom. That would be insane as well. And that's because in the interview, he said three to five times zoom is not enough, but 10 times the zoom in consistent quality with a smartphone, now that's unique. In these areas we research, and there we could have one or the other surprise for you. So from what I'm getting from that, he's basically saying that there will be one or the other. We'll either see four rear cameras or as part of a triple camera setup, a 10 times optical zoom. And if you don't know, optical zoom basically is when you can zoom in and you don't lose any clarity. Now, some of you guys will say, well, we don't really need four cameras. The Pixel 3, for example, still uses one rear camera and is still one of the best smartphone cameras on the market, if not the best. Yet they went with two on the front, giving it that notch. Don't understand it myself, but hey, each to their own. But yeah, if you can get a great smartphone camera with one, do we need four? Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Now we're going to jump onto specs and then we're going to touch briefly on design because there may be a little shock on the design department as well, where they might be fusing two phone ideas. And that might sound confusing to you, but we'll get to it and we'll explain. So in terms of specs, we are likely to see, and this is where we kind of assume based on the relationship between the P series and the Mate series. Now the P series, as I mentioned, generally is released around March, April time, and then the Mate series sort of October, November time. They have two flagships a year and they share a special relationship. We tend to see that the Mate series is kind of a one step up from the P series, but then as it goes into the next calendar year, the P series borrows a lot of specs from the Mate series. Now, as an example of this, the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, which was released in late 2017, ran with Android 8 Oreo. The P20 Pro had Android 8.1. The Mate 10 Pro had the Kirin 970 SoC. The P20 Pro also had that same Kirin 970. 
Mali G72 MP12 on both in terms of their GPU. Both had a 4000 mAh battery capacity. The list goes on and on. The one main difference between the Mate 10 Pro and the P20 Pro was, of course, in that camera department, but we've already discussed where we may be going with that camera enhancement, and the rest of the specs will possibly be very similar to the Mate 20 Pro, 4200 mAh battery capacity, for example, Kira 980, Android 9, probably we'll see Android 9.1 or whatever the latest update is that they can get hold of, Quad HD display, Mali G76 MP10 in terms of its GPU, an IP68 water and dust resistant rating as well, again, due to the fact that we saw that on the Mate 20 Pro. Two more things, we know it's gonna be 5G compatible. It's obviously still gonna take time for those mobile networks to actually catch on and deliver that 5G on nationwide levels. If next year is the same as this year, the P30 Pro will be released around March time. There was rumors they were gonna launch it at MWC in Barcelona, which is February. They didn't, they did it in March at their own event in Paris. If that's gonna be the same again, it'll be after MWC in and around March, April time for that release of the Huawei Mate 20. P20, P30, <sighs> too many smartphones in one video. Also expect a price hike as Huawei phones have been steadily increasing, as have a lot of phones hiking up ever so slightly. Let me know what you think is the maximum price you would pay for a Huawei flagship smartphone. We also believe there's going to be a standard P30, a P30 Pro like we're talking about mainly, and a P30 30 light. That's how Huawei tend to release their smartphones. Now one huge rumor about the P30 Pro is the fact that it is also going to be foldable. Now I'm not too sure about this but again a quote from Huawei themselves actually said that their first 5G smartphone will be foldable and again if we believe the P30 Pro is going to be a 5G phone then could that possibly be that foldable device. Like I said I'm skeptical on this. I think they'll keep the P30 line, the Mate 30 line and a foldable phone all separate, but that would suggest that the foldable phone is coming first before the P30 line. It would kind of make sense to do that at MWC. So we'd have February with a foldable Huawei phone, March with the P30 phone, and then of course, Mate 20, and then of course, I've done it again, Mate 500 next year, 2019 at the end of the year. Oh. Just gonna finish there to be honest. Right, so as I mentioned at the start, this video is sponsored by Squarespace and it's an absolutely great tool for you guys who need a new domain, a website or an online store. It's just a complete all-in-one platform so you can build a website from the ground up with nothing to install, patch or update ever. Now alongside websites, you're also gonna need a domain and you can either set one up on Squarespace or you can transfer one that you've already created on another website. You can manage your products, orders and inventory all with the touch of a button. Simple, easy and quick. The customer service is also great and something I definitely think you should check out, especially considering there's a free trial and there's a 10% offer on right now using the link below. You really have nothing to lose. It's completely free to try. So that is it for today. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the news and the rumors about the Huawei P30 Pro. Is it a phone that you're gonna get or do you prefer the Mate series or do you prefer another brand altogether? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts. Like and share if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you're new to the channel and wanna be notified every time I post a video on anything tech, pretty much daily content here on YouTube. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Says so be your TP out.